Hi there guys and welcome to the first of many tutorial videos on Motrix OS and this video I'm just going to go through the installation procedure on a new machine booting from the disk. Uh, for demonstration purposes I'm doing this on a virtual machine but it works exactly the same way on, on a normal desktop computer. So first off make sure that the disk is in the drive, power on the machine. This will be the, the boot screen, you can choose the first option and then just wait for it to boot up. Okay, so once it's booted up, you'll see a bunch of icons on the desktop. Um, just single click on icon called install matrix OS 1.313.04 the 1.3 is the version of matrix OS and the 13.04 is the version of Linux or Ubuntu so this is Ubuntu 13.04 and the matrix OS version is 1.3 I'll keep that naming convention it will make it easier to to distinguish between major updates and, and releases. First screen, choose the language, very easy, English, just click next. Um, on this screen, always choose install third party software, that's the MP3 and flash decoders. They make you choose to install it because it's proprietary, it's not open source. Okay, so this will be the, the partition screen. Uh, if you're not sure what you need, it's most probably the second option you use on Fire Disk. Um, otherwise, you can, if you know what you're doing, choose a manual partition setup. If you want to install alongside Windows, um, use the first option, Guided Resize. What that will do is it will create a new partition on the free space of the drive and install matrix OS on that. Um, otherwise, Use inside this will format the drive and create a brand new partition on the entire drive. You will lose all information if using guided using fibers. Okay, uh, time zones. It's only one option, and that is South Africa. And continue. Keyboard layout, English South Africa, unless you've got a British keyboard, just check the easiest way to tell us if you've got a pound symbol instead of a dollar symbol, it's a UK keyboard. Then you have to choose UK layout. South Africa is based on US, so it's always the dollar sign on South African keyboards. Okay, then user info for the account. Password, you have to put in a password. Then if you want to, you can set the system so that it logs this account in automatically or you can require a password to log in. And yeah, just simply wait for the installation to continue continue and finish. I'm going to pause the video for now and then I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so once the installation is finished you'll uh, see installation complete window. Just uh, simply click on restart now. And that's the whole installation procedure. Um, after this the PC will ask you to take the disk out and press enter to reboot. And then, then it will boot into the, the new Matrix OS installation.
Okay, so there we go. Just click on the username and the password. And then just confirm if everything's working, which it should. Um, but yeah, it's always better just to make sure. And make sure you give the client their password because they're going to need that if they want in to install software and make changes to the system. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or queries, um, please drop me a mail, eugene.b at matrixwarehouse.co.za or admin at matrixwarehouse.co.za. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.